Hello, welcome to Spotlight TV. I'm your host, Dr. Larry Carnes, and we're so excited for you to join us today. You're going to be thrilled because we have a very special, special guest with us, Janice Holloman. This book is going to blow you away. I am a survivor. Optimum blessings to you, Janice. How are you today? I'm doing fine. Awesome. I awesome. Am... Yes. Awesome. Listen, introduce yourself to our viewing audience and tell them a little bit about yourself before we get into this fascinating book. Well, basically, um, I've been married for 43 years. I have one son and I am a survivor. And basically, I love people and I love to help people. So basically, that's 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 what I that's me. I'm just a, per, a people person. Awesome. People person married mm -hmm. 41 years to your awesome Three. husband. 43, 43. years. 43 years. 43 years to Willie, your awesome husband. I read a little bit about him as I was researching your book. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. I wrote his name down and I have stars by his name. I'm like, this is an awesome man. And so with congratulations on that. Listen, your book is so powerful. You share with us about your health challenges and the many challenges that you've had in your life. Uh, talk about your awesome husband, Willie, and how he's been so supportive and have been there with you. Something that was quite fascinating. Knowing myself, knowing my how, and knowing my why. Talk to us about, uh, about that. Well, basically, knowing myself. Uh, it came about as the factor of when I start getting sick a lot, and every time I would go to the doctor, they would tell me something, and it just did not work for me because it did not help me any. And so I had to, in order to help myself, I had to stop and think about what is going on with me. That is when I start paying attention to myself. That's my inner self, like how I feel when something is going on and the surroundings around me. So that's how I decided about the uh, knowing myself. And the reason why is, like I said, because I needed to know and to learn myself in order to basically save my life. Wow, that's about Now talk about knowing my how and my why. Well, uh, how I did it was basically was really tremendously. Uh, it came about when I had to find out that, uh, what was it, some ovarian cancer, I mean, not cancer, but uh, tumors. And when the doctor told me that at the time that I need to lose weight and here I am in so much pain and he's telling me one thing and that has nothing to do with that. And so I had to find another doctor, which I was afraid that was going to tell me the same thing. And then when she told me, no, that has nothing to do with it. So that I'm like, oh, wow, that made me feel good because it made me realize that I'm not crazy or that there is help out there. It's just that some people just choose to do what they want to do. Oh, and wow. so how you right. So now the the why I did that again, it was to save my life and also to learn about myself. And in order for me to learn more about myself, that was to save my life. Also, it also helped me to be able to share what I have learned with other people. Because I have read it to a lot of people that have, you know, have suffered and so forth. So it, it helped a lot. Now, that's amazing. You know, what I think about, I think about your process. And in the, in, in the midst of your process, you know, there's something that, that happens. You discover a passion and it comes out of your pain. Yes. And you discover your purpose. And all those things are connected because I heard you say now you can help other people. That's amazing. You speak about something here that's quite fascinating. Five very important things that you need. Talk to us about that. I saw them. Faith, hope, joy, endurance, and love. 
endurance and love just jumped out to me. Speak to us about that. Endurance and love. Okay. Basically about the endurance is because now I'm going to go with love because see, first of all, I love life Yes. and I want to live as long as I possibly can. No matter how much pain I'm in, this is where the endurance is because I have over through the years, I have became tolerant with pain. So I have a high threshold of pain mm -hmm. because I'm hurting every day, every moment, really. And so in the endurance is the fact was I never asked why me? I say, what can I learn from this? Wow. That is, that's the reason why and about the endurance. So, and always asking, help me to endure what I'm going through so that I could be able to share it with other people that is going through something similar or don't understand. Yes. Now that's so very powerful. See, when I hear you speak about that, Janice, I hear you talk about a servant's heart and a servant's spirit. And although you had to endure the pain, you know, leaders will endure pain and their threshold of pain is greater than the threshold that others may have for pain. True. And you said you have that threshold for pain. So you have a high tolerance. Yes. And I hear you speaking about that high tolerance so that you can be an assistance to others so that you can help others be an encourager to others. That is so fascinating. Something about here that you said, I know now what my purpose is. That is so powerful to make that <laughs> statement. Speak to us about that. The reason why I made that statement is because I used to wonder, why am I here? What is it that I can offer? What is it that I can do? You know, because life is important and Really, I cherish life and I love to see people to flourish no matter what. So the thing of is meaning that since I love life to help people to continue to do the things that I love doing. And so and that's what helped me to do that. Love life and to help people. Yes, it's always going to be that. Now, when I hear you speak of that, that is, it speaks volumes. And when I was looking and look, I'm like, my Lord Jesus, <laughs> I said, Lord, thank you that that wasn't my test. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not telling you now. I looked at those things. I said, this woman of God has endured. She's persevered. She talks about faith. She talks about hope. She talks about joy. But persevering through this journey, I said, thank God that wasn't my journey. When I read it, Janice, I sort of looked at Job. I said, this, this powerful woman of God has had a Job experience. But something stood out. You thanked your husband, Willie. I saw that. And then you thanked your son. How important was it when you're navigating this journey and you're going through these processes, how important was it to have this powerful man stand beside you as you're navigating this thing? Well, I put it like this. From the day that we got married, he spoiled me. And basically, it's like this. When one of us are down, the other one is up. And we always was there for one another. So through the years with the, all the things that I've gone through, he have been there for me and that he made sure that I didn't have to worry about mundane things, that the focus on me to get better. And that's what I did. And that gave me a time to think about what was going on around me. I can look out the window and watch people and see the flowers, to see the sun, and really to focus on how joyful it is to be alive, no matter how much pain I was in or how bad I felt or how bad I looked at the time that it's okay. It's okay. 
And yeah. basically, I also feel like this is a test for me and it's left up to me on what side I want to fall on. And so is it going to be positive or negative? And so I've always look at the positive. That is so powerful. That's a powerful statement. Looking at the positive, magnifying the positives where you felt that inner, I'm going to say that strength to be able to right. navigate that journey, magnifying the positives. I, I, I laughed when I saw you talking about, you know, you cooking the goulash and, 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 and doing those <laughs> other things and you doing the cooking and you wiping the counter and then Willie coming behind you and wiping the counter after you wipe it. You said, OK. And then him doing the dishes and stuff. It just stood out that support system that you had while you're navigating that journey and how powerful it was. Speak to people who may be experiencing some of the same things that you've experienced and you've navigated this journey. Take a couple of minutes and speak to them about that. Empower them, encourage them and show them how they can endure and persevere. Well, first of all, I want to say it's like this. Think about yourself. Exactly. How do you feel about yourself? And what do you think life have to offer you? And you, you think about it that it's OK to feel bad, but don't let it get the best of you. Mm. Because when you do that, that is where you stay sick. When you start thinking positive and feeling good on the inside, then that mind thought that you have, that concept, that is where you're going to start feeling better. Because no matter what, how bad you're feeling or what pain level you are at, it's okay. Just, just think about it. even at the point of like being thrown out of a car and you seeing a car coming and it's rolling over on you, how painful that is. But it's all right. You can endure it. If you, if you feel like life, if you feel like it's worth it, or yeah. if you feel like your family members is worth for you to be around, then you're going to fight and you're going to find something positive about it. And I'm not saying that you cannot be depressed because that's natural, but you also can be happy too. That's powerful. Listen, we have about just a, just take a minute, tell people how they can get in touch with you, how they can get your book. Take about one minute to do that. Okay. This is my book, the cover that you want to get. And you can go to my website is Janice And you can always also contact me at Holloman J 608 at gmail.com. And I really would love to talk to you. And I know if you have any questions on Amazon, I cause I've gone to Amazon. So I know the books available there. Thank you yes. so much. I tell you, this is so, so powerful. You talk about the faith to endure to the end faith to endure. You talk about that and you are a classic example of faith. Thank you so much. We've enjoyed it. And let me tell our viewing audience, we did not color coordinate. We have not talked to each other. <laughs> on the side of the no, we did day. not. We yeah. did. Yeah. We're so glad that you could join us for another exciting and powerful episode of Spotlight TV. I'm your host, Dr. Larry Carnes. We've been blessed to have Janice with us as our guest today. Make sure you join us again for another exciting Spotlight TV episode. Optimum blessings to you. Thank you.